Hello, and welcome to Acro Associates. We are in our R&D lab today, and we'll be meeting with two of our engineers who will give us an introduction and overview to our pneumatic pinch valve product line. We have Tom Kieser, one of our mechanical engineers, and Blake Musoff, our principal engineer. Hello, my name is Tom Kieser, mechanical engineer with Acro Associates. I'm here to give you a brief introduction to the pneumatic pinch valve product line offered by Acro Associates. As you can see behind me, we have six pinch valves on the table behind me, uh, ranging from our 932 up to our 935 high force. Each valve was designed to work with a specific range of tubing sizes, ranging from 1 8 for our 932 up to 1.6 inches for our OD tubing for our 936. Behind me are a couple of small tubing samples. Tubing sample here designed to work with the 933 whereas this larger tubing sample will be designed to work with the 936. We move down the table. We have two valves here that are part of our 932 family. As you can see, they're small, light, compact in size. From the ruler here we have at the end of the table, you can see it's approximately three inches in overall length and about 1.5 inches overall diameter. Moving on to the next valve here, we have our 933 designed to operate with slightly larger tubing, up to 3 8 inch OD tubing. Next down the line, we have our 934, designed to work, out, work with up to 3 4 inch tubing. And then we have our 935 products. The first one is our standard 935. It is designed to work with tubing ODs up to 1 inch. And then our higher force version of the same valve, designed to work with tubing up to 1 inch OD, or but much harder tubing. Now I'm also going to talk about what we have, um, what you're going to be required to use to operate our valves in a normal system. We have here on the table, this is a four-way controller, either a three or four-way controller will, will allow you to operate the valve. And we also have a couple of fittings on the table. Uh, typically for our valves we operate with a quarter inch OD tubing, that's what these fittings are designed for, these are quick disconnect fittings. You attach one end to the valve, one end to the controller and then plumb the controller appropriately. And I'm now going to hand this off to my colleague, Blake Musol, who's going to discuss design and operation of the valves. Thanks, Tom. I'm Blake Musoff, Principal Engineer at Acro Associates. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about basic design elements and operation of our pneumatic pinch valve line. I'm going to use our model 934 to go over some of these particular items. And in general, um, talking about some features, these all of our pneumatic valves come with a standard black anodized exterior finish. They all have an easy snap-in tube slot and all have low surface area pinch geometry. For operation, We've got a simple setup here that if we start on the left, we have an, a shop airline coming into a precision regulator, which is set at a pressure between somewhere between 40 and 80 psi, depending on the application. We're plumbed into a quick connect tube fitting, which then has a uh, matching fitting on the inlet side of our control valve. Today we're using a 24 volt DC control valve attached to a lab power supply. And then on the outlet side of the control valve, we've got um, another uh, flexible tubing which we're going to attach to our model 934 sample valve. Now that we've installed the fitting, I'm going to actuate the valve a couple times to show the uh, operation. So I've shown you the valve actuating without tubing. Now I'm going to show a quick uh, overview of tubing installation and actuation once the tubing is installed. We'll open the valve and then taking the tube placed basically above the tube entry slot, we'll compress the tube slightly and then bringing it down into the slot, we'll push down firmly to seat the tubing and then it's ready for actuation. So 
So that's a basic uh, overview of valve operation. Our pneumatic line comes with uh, several standard options that are available. One being state sensing. And this is an example of a digital pulse sensor attached to our model 935. And we can detect open or closed end of stroke. And then this is also a model 935 and all 316L stainless steel with a micro switch type sensor attached. That basically concludes the general overview of features and operation of our pneumatic pinch valve line. In the next segment I'll be going over noise level of the product and how to contact us. In this next segment, we're going to take a look at noise output or decibel readings for our pneumatic pinch valves. And we're going to start with uh, basically looking at uh, using a decibel meter and taking a look at ambient background noise. So I'm going to stop talking for a few seconds so we can get a reading. You can see that it's roughly around 52 decibels. And now we're going to run the valve a couple times and take some readings while the valve is actuating without and then with tubing. I'm now going to load tubing. From these ratings, you can see that it runs somewhere between 63 and, let's say, 70 decibels when the valve is actuating, and that's with or without tubing. The majority of the noise is coming from the vent port or the exhaust of the controller that we're using, but the valve does output uh, some exhaust noise as well. That concludes our overview for today and for more information on our product drawings specifications or models please go to our website at www.acroassociates.com thank you